Well, hello there, boys and girls. Muzzafuzza here, and today I'm bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 topical commentary. How's it going, bros? Um, this is some domination on interchange. It's a MOB fail, or a MOAB fail, or however you want to pronounce it, uh, with a couple of host migrations in here, too, which is always annoying. And today I want to talk about loyalty. Loyalty. Um, I'm going to start with loyalty as far as gaming goes, but then I'll go on to other different aspects of loyalty as well. But let's talk about loyalty. Um, first off, I am not loyal uh, to any video game. I'm not a very loyal gamer. I don't stick to one game. I don't stick to one series. And Call of Duty kind of reassured that in my mind, that I shouldn't stick with one series and just play one type of game forever. Because eventually they get boring, eventually they get old, eventually they get repetitive and, and just end up making you angry. And that statement right there, a video game making you angry. You gotta be the dumbest motherfucker ever if you let a video game get on your nerves. You're playing a video game. That's like next step up on a first world problem. That's like above a first world problem. If you, the only thing that's making you mad, the only thing that's pissing you off is that you're mad about the video game that you're playing, you got your priorities all mixed up, sir. And there's the uh, host migration like I was talking about, host migration number one of like two annoying host migrations until we finally get a good host. Um, but seriously, like if you, if you let a video game get to you, and I'm a victim of this myself, but if you let a video game like have an effect on your psyche, on your emotions, on your anger, on your rage, um, that's not good. That's not good at all. That doesn't even make any sense. You could be doing so many other things with your time. You could be studying if you're in school. You could be doing homework. You could be working on different projects and different skills and developing different talents that'll help you out in life. But instead, you're playing a video game which in turn makes you angry and you don't even really enjoy playing in the first place. So there's a lot of hypocrisy there. There's a lot of people who continue to play Call of Duty every single year when the new Call of Duty game comes out, and they like it for a couple months, and then for the majority, the remainder of the time of the Call of Duty life cycle, they spend it bitching about the game, they spend it making videos even though they don't even really like the game, and that's about where the point uh, is where I am with Modern Warfare 3. I don't really enjoy the game as much anymore, but I still have all these gold guns to play with. I still enjoy certain aspects of the game, like FFA gunplay, infected, doing open lobbies with subscribers, sniping, using shotguns, things like this actually are still fun to me. Especially if I can sit back and just laugh at the bullshit. Like, if I die when I'm really close to a Moab, and in this game I get 21 kills, so I'm, I'm 3 kills off of a Moab um, in this gameplay, and then I die to an ACR that comes up behind me. And I, I, I normally, I would be so pissed. But I remember, I distinctly remember that when I got this gameplay, I was just like, oh, great, great, Modern Warfare 3, thank you. And I, I just kind of laughed it off and brushed it off. I was live streaming when I got this, and I was just like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna rage quit, leave this game, and, and go play another game. And I have so many different games I can play. I've got PC games, I've got emulators so I can play old school games like from Sega Genesis and Nintendo 64. I don't need to just be playing one game all the time. Um, so I'm not loyal. I'm not, I'm not a very loyal gamer. And personally, I'm really happy that video games are nothing like relationships. I can be as much of a slut as I want when I'm playing games. I can play two games at the same time if I want to. That's called a menage game, if you know what I'm saying. Just a little threesome between me, Minecraft, and something on console. I don't know, I, a lot of times I have PC games up at the same time as I'm playing console games, so I can kind of bounce back and forth and just play two games at the same time. And it's fun to multitask like that, but I don't really get a lot done as far as commentaries or, or getting clips or gameplays or anything like that. Um, which is interesting. Whereas in a relationship, obviously, you gotta be loyal, you gotta be faithful, you gotta take care of your lady and tell her you love her every day. With video games, I don't have to fucking tell any of these games that I love them. I could sell these games if I want. How about that? How about I take you to GameStop and get like 15 bucks, even though I spent 60 bucks for you, Modern Warfare 3, on top of all the DLC that I got, on top of the map packs from every Call of Duty game since COD 4. I've gotten all the maps on multiple systems, PS3 and Xbox. Ah, <sighs> it's frustrating. But I think I have a better outlook on games now. I, I understand that I don't have to be loyal. I understand that we get together, we have our fun, and then we go our separate ways. It's kind of like I have a, a one-night stand every game that I play, whether it's Call of Duty, Minecraft, League of Legends, Happy Wheels, whatever it is. 
Um, I just get on, I play, I have my fun, and then we go our separate ways. I don't need you bitching. I don't need to give you my cell phone number. I don't need to have any video game booty calls other than every once in a while when I'll splurge on like some Mario Kart 64 or something fun like that. But that's about as far as it goes um, when it comes to loyalty on video games. Now, as far as loyalty goes uh, on other things, I think it's awesome that a lot of you guys are very loyal to me. You're loyal to who you're subscribed to. You're loyal to all the YouTubers that you watch, um, including me. A lot of you guys have been watching my videos for like three years now, which is just mind-blowing. And I want you guys to know that views will come and go. A lot of the videos that get lots and lots of views, like the videos that I have that have millions and millions of views, those are due to many different things. They're due to search hits, they're due to people spreading them around with likes and favorites and sharing them on Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. Um, they're due to my friends that also have other big YouTube channels helping me promote my videos. Um, and those views, like those millions and hundreds of thousands of views, aren't really as important to me as the loyal subscribers, the people that have been watching my videos for a long time, the people that continue to come back and check on my channel and watch my videos from day to day and give me support and give me feedback, even criticism, even when they tell me, Muzza, you're doing this all wrong, you need to go at this with this attitude or you need to play this game this way, whatever it is. Um, I just appreciate that this YouTube thing even exists at all. And to any loyal subscribers that are watching right now that have been watching my videos for a long time and possibly even watch every video that I make, because I've made over 700 videos now and hundreds of videos on Machinima and the Game Station and I have done lots of commentaries for other channels like Cod Shot of the Day, Top 5 Plays. I've made a lot of videos and I just want to let you guys know that I'm really thankful for anybody that's been loyal to me over the past three years. But this has been Maza Fuzza. That was my Moab fail gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.